25. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, yeah. gave thanks, break it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, offered it to them, and they drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant which he poured out for many. He said to them, I tell you the truth, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drank it new in the kingdom of God. I also never be when we take that drink with him. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being partakers of Jesus' death until he comes. Your word says we will he will bless us with life eternally, and in the last days you will raise us up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you all and nothing you do about it. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. You know, Brother Chuck has set up 10 minutes or 15 minutes aside every week so that we can uh, be encouraged in giving, so we can learn about giving as well. And uh, today, if you have your Bibles, open to open them to Second Corinthians chapter nine. Y'all you know, pray for me that I don't cry for this long cry for Second Corinthians chapter nine. We're gonna miss Brother Dick. <coughs> his presence here now. Don't forget to stop by his house. Amen. Call on him. I was told that he's usually home after two every day. So that's a good time to catch him. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verse eight. If you have it, so I have it. Yeah. It says, And God is able to make all grace abound for you, that you always mm -hmm. have an all sufficiency in all things, mm -hmm. may have an abundance for every good work. Yeah. Now Many times, or many people hesitate to give because they think that they won't have enough for their own needs. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that we understand that God is our source. He's our provider. Right. And this verse is telling us that. This verse is saying that God is going to always provide us with enough, with enough so that we can do what he's called us to do. Amen. Amen. The word grace here, it comes from a Greek word that refers to benefit. See, when we see grace, we think about God's unmerited <coughs> favor, but it's also talking about material things. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Amplified Bible, it reads like this, verse 8, it says, And God is able to make all grace, listen to this now, every favor and earthly blessing. All right. Every favor and earthly, earthly blessings is talking about material things. Mm -hmm. All right. Come to you in abundance, in abundance, so that you may always say always, always. and under all circumstances say all, under all circumstances, under all circumstances. circumstances. And whatever the need be, say whatever the need whatever be, the whatever the need, need be, possessing enough, say possessing, possessing enough, enough. Yeah. Yeah. to require no aid or support, Ooh. and furnish Ooh. in abundance. For every good, good word, word and charitable, charitable donation. Hallelujah. 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 We, don't have to, we don't have to worry about not having enough. Right. So that verse tells us that when we give, when we when we open ourselves up to give, God is going to make sure. And, and he, He's not a man that He should lie. He said it, it will come to pass. Amen. Now we're going to take it a a step further in faith it is it has come to pass. Amen. Faith Amen. says it's already, already done. done. Yes. All right. Yes. So he's already provided abundance for us. Amen. We tapped into it through our sowing. Remember last week I think it was last week, Brother Chuck did uh he talked about Philippians four nineteen where we quote My God shall supply all I need according to his riches and glory. But you have to read the whole chapter right. starting at verse thirteen because that tied into you give it. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So when you give, God is going to make sure that he supplies all your needs. 
Why? Because he loves you. So you don't have to worry about not having enough. Say, well, I can't give the, the, the church today, brother. Trump just have to catch the bus. I don't. <laughs> I say that because a lot of people say that when they give, you know, the preacher drive a new car and all this. They don't see that God provides for the preacher too. All know, right. Yeah. But understand this: no matter what you give, if brother Chuck decides to take the money and misuse it. You still gonna be blessed. Okay. That's not going to appear with your blessing. Okay. But he'll never do that because he's a man of integrity. So I want to encourage you: don't worry about not having enough. Here we're told that we will have more than enough. If you ever, if you ever tested God, I, I, I know I use the word test, but if you ever tested God in that area, anytime you needed something, He always brought it back more than what you need. Yep. Yep. That's when you know it's God. Because He makes. Because see, you still have to continue to sow. Yes. Amen. So I want to encourage you to don't be discouraged in your giving and don't be worried. <coughs> worried is a sin anyway. Yeah. People don't admit that, but worried is a sin anyway. Yeah. Because it denotes that you don't <laughs> trust God. Yeah. Brother Mike, would you pray over the offering for us? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank, thank you for this you, opportunity to come before you and worship you. Yes. And to worship you with our tithes yes. and offerings yes. and thank gifts you. of love. Yes. And we thank you, Lord. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, that you have supplied all of my needs yes. according you. to our giving. Yes. Your promises are yes and amen. Yes. Yes. And we thank you for the resulting return you. that you promised. This is your word, not mine. Yes. We thank you that you have blessed us and that you increase the money into the work of the ministry for souls and blessing the money back to the givers to meet every need according to your word that has just been read in our hearing today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.